Well, Micah, amid growing calls to release his tax returns, Donald Trump diverted attention by making several jaw-dropping remarks today. He reversed course on false claims that the president was not born in the United States, only to float another tall tale on the issue. And tonight, another controversial comment about guns and his Democratic opponent. In Miami, Donald Trump appeared to raise the specter of violence against Hillary Clinton. I think that her bodyguards should drop all weapons. They should disarm. Take their guns away. She doesn't want guns. Take their, let's see what happens to her. Earlier in Washington, a stunning reversal on a conspiracy theory that has electrified his base and catapulted him onto the national stage. Barack Obama was born in the United States Period. That much is true, but that's not what Trump said in the past. This is false. Hillary Clinton started the birther controversy. I finished it. It was Trump who spearheaded the so-called birther movement while considering a run for the White House five years ago. Why doesn't he show his birth certificate? After President Obama produced his birth certificate in 2011, Trump continued to push his theory that the president was not a natural-born citizen, as seen in this CNN interview earlier this year. Is he a natural-born citizen? Who knows? Who knows? Hillary Clinton blasted Trump's claim that she was responsible for his conspiracy theory. For five years... He has led the birther movement to delegitimize our first black president. His campaign was founded on this outrageous lie. There is no erasing it in history. Mrs. Clinton's former campaign manager is also disputing Trump's claim that her 2008 campaign was responsible for questioning the president's nationality. Neither the campaign nor Hillary did not start the birther movement period. End of the story. I believe um, in late 2007, one of our volunteer coordinators, they did forward an email that promoted the conspiracy. Hillary made the decision immediately to let that person go. Mr. Trump did not address the question of why he is changing his mind now, but his decision to reverse course on the president's citizenship comes as he's trying to reach out to African-American voters who overwhelmingly support Mrs. Clinton. Back to you in the studio. All right, John, thank you.